come on, just tell me. You have to promise not to laugh or freak out or tell my mother. I don't talk to your mother. You could. But I don't. Okay, just keep not talking to her then. There's nothing wrong with your mother, is there? No, no, I, it's not that. I just don't want her to worry or freak out or anything. What is going on? You're starting to freak me out. I said not to freak out. But you're freaking me out. Stop. You stop. I'm not telling you. Oh, my God. Now you have to tell me. You can't handle it. Nobody can. First of all, let's take another sip of wine. Agreed? Agreed. A toast to friends who don't keep secrets from each other. Oh, that was low. To friends who don't keep secrets from each other. Fine. <sighs> Spit it out already. I have a ghost. <laughs> I said not to laugh. So I can't laugh, I can't freak out, and I can't tell your mother. Got it. No more laughing. Sorry about laughing. It slipped out. No more laughing. Go on. I was really scared at first. You're totally serious, aren't you? Yes. Right. You have a ghost. In your apartment? Yeah. And you're scared, you're, you're not scared now, but you were. Yes, I said that already. <sighs> Sorry, I'm just... I know. Yeah. See? I get it. Okay, anyway. When it first started, actually it was probably happening a long time ago, but I didn't notice. But now that I'm home all the time, I start noticing. What? Stuff. Like... Small things, little things here from there. I would leave a glass on the desk and then it would be on the counter. Or I would close the wardrobe and then it would be just open. Like six cents. Kind of. That's why I didn't notice it before. I was always so busy and I never spent so much time at home alone. And when I was home, I was half asleep. Me too. All of us. <sighs> I thought I was going crazy. I would too. And then I got scared because it got more intense. I started hearing footsteps and breathing. Jesus, breathing? Yeah, on my neck. Yikes. So finally I said, is someone there? And the vase of the flowers I had on the coffee table tipped over spilling stay water and had dead flowers all over the rug. Gross. And also scary. Absolutely. Absolutely. So right then, I knew. I just knew it was a ghost. But couldn't the vase have just fallen over? That's not how gravity works. Objects fall. Objects in motion tend to stay in motion. Objects at rest tend to stay at rest. Newton. I know that. Well... I'm just trying to maybe consider that maybe it's not. Are you doubting me? I didn't say that. You mean it. I'm not doubting you. It's just, it's more that you've been alone, all alone for months. It might be possible, hypothetically speaking, what if your mind is playing tricks on you? My mind? Playing tricks on me. Like what? Like my mind is bored and entertaining itself by scaring me. It's not an unheard of phenomenon. It wasn't just flowers. I talked to it. You heard voices? Not voices. A voice. One voice. And you weren't troubled by that? Of course I was. I was terrified. But you're not now? No. Hmm. Okay. What? I'm suddenly understanding why you didn't want me to tell your mother. You promised. I did. Promised. But... Okay, I won't. However, please explain to me why you are no longer frightened of hearing a voice in your head. Because I can see him now. What? 
Calm down. Vera, this is, any way you slice this, it is not good. I thought at first too, but now... Now? He's very sweet and wants to get to know him. I have no words for this situation. Can you try to be supportive? Of the madness or of the haunting? It's not madness. I'm not sure haunting is better. That's because you don't know him. And I never will, will I? I don't know. Maybe. Is that a threat? Of course not. Well, she's usually very understanding. Vera. Ahem. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hi. Hey. Um, I'm going to get going. Let's talk later, okay? Wait a second. Were you just flirting <laughs> with the... <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah um let's do another happy hour in the next week okay uh, uh okay sounds good bye <laughs> okay then she does seem happy i wonder if i have a ghost in here